I think with the Arab Spring, we were all very hopeful and optimistic. You know, we were given a blank canvas and we were able to paint the future that we wanted to see for ourselves. Um, you know, change takes time. Democratization in the West took centuries. So I'm not sure we were ready to flip the switch overnight. Um, I think we, we had a lot of high expectations on what we can do given these new tools. But I think as time goes on and technology advances and adapts, they'll find more ways of helping. And it'll be a slow process, but as fast as technology moves, it'll speed up how we are able to uh, fight for our rights. Sorry, I was a child actor in Egypt. Um, I became a spokesperson for top brands, a well-known model in the country. Um, and in 2012, during the, um, the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood, right after um, the Arab Spring, right after the revolution, I came out openly in an op-ed piece to use myself sort of as a litmus test to sort of call for reaction to the new powers that be to open up Egypt to all Egyptians so that we all have equal rights um, and we all have a place in the new Egypt and we could all call it home and live happily and authentically. The reaction was very negative. Um, I received threats of violence, intimidation, death threats, and I was forced to leave and I haven't been back since. So to date, uh, I'm told that I'm still the only out LGBT public figure in the Middle East. So I see my role as being two-faceted. The first is to maintain vis visibility because I think it's important for LGBT youth to see a reflection of the, themselves on television. I grew up with the Western background. I watched television and while I didn't have LGBT role models back in the Arab world, I did have shows like Will and Grace and Glee and these characters and progressive plot lines taught me that I wasn't alone, that different isn't bad, and that there was a community out there, even if it was thousands of miles away, that loved and supported the real me, the invisible me. And so if I could play that role for other LGBT youth, that, that's a great thing because they realize they're not alone. Storytelling is the wave of the future. Mm -hmm. That's the way people get introduced to the community, put away their preconceived notions. You know, studies have shown that there's two ways to accelerate acceptance um, and to grow acceptance. And the first way was people knowing people that were LGBT. If they knew someone, they were more likely to accept them. And the rates of that have grown in the United States and in the West as there's been a 30 years collective coming out experience. Storytelling for so long, messaging was in the hand of a centralized source, the government. Um, nothing else got out there. You know, we saw what the Arab Spring called the Twitter revolution because people were able to add their voice. People that didn't have a voice gained a voice. And now with this new media, with social media, with Twitter, people have a voice. They're able to communicate. They're able to find other like-minded people. Uh, and they're able to have these conversations. And that's what's really going to cause change. It's interesting, though, because, you know, while a lot of people don't have roofs on their home in Egypt, most people have satellite dishes. So some of these words and images are making it through to people's television screens. Not enough. And it would be great if, you know, internet could expand its presence, if everyone had access to free internet, and if people could access all of these great role models, these progressive plot lines, um, characters, um, and see a reflection of themselves. One of the critical things that technology can do to drive change, to increase awareness, to help organizations working on human rights issues is help us with data. You know, there's no way to move forward if we don't know what's happening. And now we can access so many more people with online polls and surveys and gain information on attitudes and behaviors to understand what we're working with, how we can change, and how we can target that change to specific places.